I can't remember ever wanting to be a fireman or a you know a cowboy or a or a, a policeman or I, I never really thought about anything other than uh, being an artist. Um, when you were when I was very young, I didn't really put it into a, like a context for a job, although I knew what my dad did, uh, but. Um, it, I mean, it was an easy decision. There really was, there was no guesswork about it. As I grew older and uh, was more engaged with my with my artwork, um, it was just uh, like a, a natural thing that that's what exactly what I was going to do uh, with my life. And I majored in animation because Walt Disney had graduated from there, and I I figured if it was good enough for him, it was good enough for me. <laughs> So um, I did major in animation and um, uh, graduated in, uh, in the middle of the year because I worked really hard um, uh, trying to uh, you know, get my, my education out of the way. So I, I graduated in the middle of the year at the end of February, beginning of March of 72, and um, went out and hired a headhunter and got my first job uh, in a corporate in-house art department. And uh, there I was drawing on the, on the first day. Um, a lot of apprenticeships back in the day were, uh, really didn't consist anything more of, you know, running errands for the boss kind of a thing. And, and after I had worked so hard, I made up my mind that I was not gonna run errands for anybody. I, I really needed to start my career uh, you know, drawing and, and, and being an artist, and, and so it worked out that way. I, I began working in the studios of Chicago when there were big art studios um, where they would hire a, a, a whole group of illustrators, a group of photographers and production people and so on and so forth. And my real start in professional, um, in, in the profession of an illustrator, was when I began working in those studios because you were sub subjected to a lot of different projects that covered a lot of different criteria. And uh, uh, at that time, um, I had been teaching myself as well as taking you know, the, the, the education from my school, but I took it much further because I was exploring the usage of a lot of different uh, mediums and, 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 and materials and, and tools. Uh, because if you worked in a studio, the more the, the the more range that you had in your work, the more possibility for 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 getting jo jobs because it was a freelance basis. Uh, you were made a commission on 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 your work. Uh, you know it could be few and far between. So I learned and taught myself uh, a lot of uh, information about materials and techniques, uh, so that I could. Uh, make myself the most marketable I could possibly be. Um, I just have always wanted to keep ranging out and, and try different things. And um, I mean, you know, crazy stuff like doing a wet on wet technique and taking the, the artboard out to the driveway and driving my car over it, turning the wheel so I could chew up the surface and then bringing it back in and throwing more medium on it because you get some organic. Uh, response to that medium and that surface that you just can't possibly paint. And um, I, there's a particular piece where I just throw paint on something and, and see where it goes, or I'll mix dirt into joint compound and throw it onto a canvas and then push raffia grass into it and then throw acrylic paint on top of that and, and just see where it goes, you know. And sometimes you can get some interesting effects by just going with uh, kind of a stream of consciousness uh, approach to the work, not really expecting anything and not having expectations, but just going with the emotional flow. My work is basically stylized realism um, for the most part. Uh, the, the, uh, the animated stuff or the cartoon, if you will, um, that all has derived from my love of comic books and newspaper strips and, you know, following cartoons. Uh, I was an avid, still am, avid lover of animated cartoons. Um, I have so much uh, imagery coming through my mind all the time. Uh, I can't shut it off. It's, I'm, I'm, I never 
I never get tired of conceptualizing in my mind about something I'm doing, even while I'm doing, say for instance, a, a gallery piece. I'm thinking about something that I could do uh, in some other area uh, that I haven't challenged or I'd like to revisit. Um, I, was, I, I, could, I was into cartooning, uh, I was into realism, I was into um, publishing, uh, and so I, as, I, as I got older and I became more competitive in the marketplace, uh, my interests and range widened, uh, which kind of brings me up to where I'm at now where um, I'm proficient in uh, a number of, of different mediums and different techniques uh, that can be applied to just about every market you can possibly think of. Uh, I've worked in editorial markets, uh, publishing, entertainment, institutional work. Um, it's, uh, I've worked in just about every conceivable market you can think of. And, and, it, and over a, a period of years, I found myself working um, with all the top publishers. Um, I, I was part, uh, a major part of the resurgence of G.I. Joe, which had been dead for uh, well over 10, 15 years. And the way I visualized the characters on the back covers um, was different than anything that had been done before. And so these avid fans climbed on board with that, uh, which led to work in Star Wars. And I worked, uh, did a, a good amount of work with Star Wars and eventually sold um, several original pieces of work to George Lucas. And he has, I think, a nine original arts, uh, uh, pieces of art of mine, uh, ranging from finished drawings to uh, full, uh, full painted work that was done for covers for, for the books that were being published by Dark Horse. I've, I've, I've really been able to uh, achieve uh, uh, my goal of being accepted in the comic industry um, following my love, again, as, uh, uh, for, the, for, that, uh, for that medium when I, was, when I was very young. And I'm still working in it. I'm still, I'm still doing work and passing down uh, the, the information that has uh, led, you know, pretty much led me through my whole career uh, to these younger students and trying to uh, instill in them a sense of uh, honor, um, integrity, and just you know an honest evaluation of uh, of oneself, and 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 tell them that uh, and express to them that their artwork is is basically an echo of who they are as a person. You know, so um, I think that uh, that has. Uh, been successful for me this past year and uh, now I'm into uh, the first month of this semester and uh, there's a waiting list <laughs> there was a waiting list for my for my materials and techniques class so that that's that's kind of nice to know that uh, some of what I've been trying to give back is being absorbed well <laughs>